Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, Dynasty. Look at this. Look at this. Now, if I go off, I'm wrong. If I go off, I'm wrong. Get the fuck out my car right now. That's disrespectful. It's not a joke and it's not funny. Get the fuck out. Do not play with me like that. You don't open nobody's car like that. Are you insane? No, you're not sorry, or you wouldn't have done it. Move. Fucking insane. You take a picture outside. I don't care. What you just saw was a random woman who saw a Lamborghini Urus, which is a 300K car, and they decided to open the door and take pictures in the inside of the car. I don't know if the person taking the picture is her husband or brother. He decided to go along and took some pictures. That's when the owner or the renter of the car saw them and decided to film them and rightfully so, tell them to get out. People nowadays will go to extreme measures to put up a front for social media. I guess taking the picture on the outside of the car wasn't good enough, but she had to get inside so she can better sell the picture when she posted online for likes. Social media has warped people's mind. They see people posting the highlights of them on vacation in exotic locations, they see them driving exotic cars, flying in private jets. What they don't see is what these people had to do to get those things. You're already stressing yourself out thinking that you're missing out on life because you don't have these expensive items and you're not living a lavish life. I'm not saying that you shouldn't make it your goal in life to become rich. If it's your dream to own a Lamborghini or a Mercedes Benz, I think you should go for it. But don't expect those things to make you happy. You have people using PPP loans on personal purchases, risking prison time just so they can feel what it's like to live a lavish lifestyle. I can't fully blame these people because social media make you feel like crap if, if you're not out here living it up 24 seven. That's one of the main reasons I deleted all my social media apps except for YouTube. I set off social media for so long that I can't even bring myself to use it again because I realized all that stuff on there are programmed to get you addicted. Recently, a Nigerian man who went by the name of Hush Puppy on Instagram was posting pictures of him driving Rolls Royces, wearing expensive jewelry and watches, flying private. At first glance, you would think that this man is some sort of businessman or he comes from a rich family from Africa. Turns out he was a big time scammer. He was found guilty with money laundering, fraud, when police raided his apartment in Dubai, they found $41 million in cash, luxury cars, all type of expensive stuff. And he's facing a maximum of 20 years in a federal prison. Guess how he was caught? He was caught because he was flexing on Instagram and the feds were able to piece clues together by watching him. Now imagine if he used all those skills to start a legit business but instead he chose to scam just so he can flex on Instagram. And all those people he was showing off to for likes and comments are not even going to visit him in prison. Anyways, that's it for the video. See y'all on the next one.